back everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I have a little bit of a tutorial. I have been trying to find a way to use several different trays at one time while working on my diamond painting. Uh, as most of you know, I do most of my diamond painting in the living room in my recliner. So it's a little hard to use some of those containers that are just kind of open like you've seen some of those organizers that are made of wood where you put the little trays in like the white ones or the green ones and then you put the container that has the drills in the little slot after you know just so you know what color each one is well in my recliner that would be too easily knocked over or set uh it's just too open for me so i had seen people in, I don't remember where I saw it, honestly. Um, there was, there is this idea and I've been gathering the materials for it a little bit here and there, just thinking that maybe I'll try it. So today I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works for me. So give me one second, I'll get the materials and I'll be right back. I know it was just a second for you, but I just spent, oh, about half an hour trying to find something that I had actually started a long time ago and I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to have to basically start from scratch. Uh, okay. So what you'll need is first of all, Dollar Tree baking sheet. Okay. And then you're going to need several of these green boats because this is how we're going to put them in here. I don't know if I have enough, so I might have to go run and get some more. I just uh, separated all my toolkits and all right, good. So, so we have all the trays pulled out, but I know we can't use every single one. There's just no way. And I don't know if this is too wide or not wide enough. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough. But the whole idea, you get the idea right here. Uh, let's see, would we be able to get more? We could probably fit more here if we wanted and we could, we could just go like this instead to keep them spread out more and then put a couple down here. So it's up to you. Um, this is just something I'm experimenting with. And if you don't do it the exact way I do, there's no right or wrong way about it. It's just an idea of how to possibly make your very own multi tray, something that is compatible that or compact that you could actually move all at once instead of, cause I do see a lot of people where they line up all their trays. They probably, you know, don't have, six-year-olds or cats or dogs that like to jump up on things or you're they're not super clumsy clumsy like myself i'm gonna go grab a few more of these and then um i'll be right back okay so you can use different size trays obviously um these don't take up much more space the white ones but you're not going to get as many on the tray and you can always if you like using a large tray you know you can always just take what's in in your green one and pour it into your bigger tray for the moment you know that's just an idea I don't know actually no because the whole point of this is to have many colors out at once so you're not having to go back and forth especially when you're doing highly confettied areas so I pulled a bunch of these out of Jim's area because he did the separating and I found me a couple of dark green ones 
and then we you know get these two here you just want to be able to make it to where you can get to them so this might not be a good idea to put it in the center if you have a smaller I think they're all the same size of the Dollar Tree, but if you can't find one at the Dollar Tree, you get one at Walmart or whatever, and it's not as wide, you can always, you know, line it up like I showed the first time, where it's going to be like this. So if you don't have one that's as wide, it might be shorter even. So just, just ideas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it so that they're not touching and I'm going to do six on each side so that's a dozen. I also pulled out these other trays. I wanted to see how many would fit for that. I don't like them as much but if it's all you have it's all you have because they have the hole at the tip. These right here. Those are, are great when you're you know, diamond painting using one tray. But when you have it in something like this, you kind of want to keep it enclosed so that it's they're not falling out when you move it around. But you could fit, see if you do it right next to each other, you can fit five. You can fit five of them in this Dollar Tree tray. And they are a little bit bigger than these. But... For my example and what I'm going to do for myself is I'm going to use these boats and I want to use the dark green ones because they're different. I actually have an even more odd color that I had never seen before and I don't ask me which kit it came in. I probably unboxed it and you saw it when I unboxed it, but I don't remember where it came from, but I have a blue one. So we're going to use the blue and whatever else I have. So we're going to do six on each side. See that one's kind of wobbly. It's not even. I don't want to use that one. You want to use them the flatter the better. So six. All right. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to have some magnets. Now, I got these at Walmart. I think it was like two bucks. That one's kind of dirty. But there, were, there are 18 magnets in each, and you only need one for each tray. And this one I'm repurposing because I had put it on something for Teslin. So I only have 11 magnets here and I need 12 for this example so I'll probably clean this up in between clips because it's been on the floor and whatnot but these are just ceramic um, magnets they don't say on here but they're just the black man magnets really cheap um, they're not the strongest, but that you don't need it. You just need something that's not going to slide around. So I got a couple here. These have actual little button stickers on the back. I don't know how long they'll last. Like I said, this one was on the floor because it fell off of uh, one of her perler bead things that I made for her. So you're just going to want to, you might want to glue it on, but it seems to be on there really good because it's probably covering the full surface and it's not porous like the perler beads are and it's not a super magnet like the cover minders are so they're going to be easy to pull up and set back down without spilling your drills if you use the earth magnets like i use um for my cover minders that is going to be way too here that'll be way too strong and they could break from slapping them back and forth onto the thing but it's yeah it's quite a bit more of a pull if that's all you have that's all you have and it'll work but 
I, well, for one thing, I don't want to waste my uh, magnets for cover minders on this when I have these other magnets that are perfect for this. So I am going to get all these magnets placed on these and I'll be right back to show you what else I do for this. Even though this is all you really, uh, really need to know and you can go with it from there, but um, I'm just going to show you something that I'm going to do in addition to the magnets. So I'll be right back. Okay, boat number 12 has to dry. I glued this one on because it was the used one. So I'm not going to put the magnet down until it dries a bit so that it won't come up. It'll, so it won't stay behind when I go to lift it up. So we're going to just show you with 11 here right now. So now you're saying, well, how do you tell which drills are in each container when you've got that many sitting out like that there's a couple of things you can do okay um if you want something temporary um like i sell these in my shop you can get the whole line of dmc uh stickers and you can just put the dmc number on if that's what you go by but i don't go by the dmc code i go by um the symbol that's on on the thing so on each diamond painting. So what I got were these self laminating sheets from the Dollar Tree. You get five in a pack and these are great. They work wonderfully. And this is what I was saying. I had started a project and I don't know where it went. I had already done a bunch of these and it was a bunch of work wasted because I don't know where it is now. So these are nice big self laminating sheets and this is going to, this is more of a permanent thing for doing labels. All right. Since the symbol is different every time and I always put on my container, on my containers when I kit stuff up I put the DMC number and the symbol on there that way the DMC number is there for reference so when I'm putting them away this or that so DMC numbers are basically on everything but of course you're gonna run into the ones where they just have symbols but that's okay because this will work for that too what I'm gonna do is this is a little different than what I had originally planned. I'm going to take my DMC numbers and I'm going to make a small laminated card for each number. This is just what I'm going to do. Not something you need to do whatsoever. These things, they show you what to do, how to laminate them. Uh, this side over here is the adhesive side where the paper is at. So the stuff that you want to laminate will be over here and it laminates all the way to the edge of this paper where that is so even that section you can stick things under to be laminated so this will be really simple for me because these are stickers and I can just take each sticker and stick them to this back piece and you just want to make sure if you're going to do this, you're going to just want to make sure you have plenty of room between them so that there's room for the lamination to go all the way around the number. So I say about that far. How long far is that? Let's see. We've got about half an inch between numbers. If you want to be meticulous and keep your ruler right there so you know how far half an inch is between each one, you know, go for it. I don't judge. So half an inch would be about right there. And I'll move it over so, so you get the picture. I'm going to do this and 
I'll just fill up this one sheet and then I will, but I'll fast forward it while it's working because I don't have that much to talk about while I'm doing this. And then I will come back with you and show you what else we can do. All right, so I have 30 on this one page, okay? There's some lint, but it's on the back. Now, you, this can also be used not just for this, but for reusing your labels. If you don't want to have to buy a whole set of labels every time you go to uh, kit something up, you can do this method for everything. But let's do this first. For these, you... Well, see, if there's 30 on one and you get five, so that's 150. So it won't take it won't it won't take very much maybe five dollars to do every single number. I mean I have uh, twenty of them right here. I have another one, but it's missing, and that's the one that I started doing this for in a slightly different way. Anyway, but what you do is you take this little strip off right here, and you take your ruler and you lay this down like that but you're gonna have to pull this up at the same time so that's sticking down and it's no big deal because these are stickers and that's not gonna move and then you just I know it's kind of hard to see you run your ruler over as you're lifting this up you just run your ruler to make it flat with no bubbles just like that and now we have a laminated set of labels and there's plenty of room between them so I you know I can use my I'll probably use my um, I don't know what call it, one of those cutter things to make it go faster to separate these or you can just use scissors but you're gonna want to push around each one to get the little bit of lifting that hasn't been pushed down up against where the stickers are you get them all pushed down and I mean I I started I didn't get the I got them a little too close together up here so I started separating them a little more I was thinking I could put another row here but I don't want to you know be that frugal I guess and chance that they're too close together so all right we almost have them all covered get all those little air bubbles out all right so I'm just gonna cut out a couple with some scissors here and let's just go up the row Cut it out. You can leave them big like this or you can trim them down as far as you want. I'm going to leave them a little bit bigger so that they aren't as easy to get lost. Um, but I'm going to kind of round them. I mean, that's a lot of work. I'm just trying to be fancy right now. <laughs> just to get those sharp edges off there we go so I have a rounded label all right I think I can't tell Stephanie's in there laughing or crying mm. next what we're gonna do you can because you're generally going to either leave this in here or either that or you're going to only pull out one tray at a time. So what we do is we're going to somehow we're going to label these here, but they're not going to be permanent. So we'll get to reuse them and I'll show you how. So I picked these up. Um, on AliExpress 
because I was looking for something that would be equivalent to the, it's like double-sided adhesive, but it's reusable. And it's the stuff that you use on the flat, pl fat, flat multi-placers that um, I've shown before. So it's the same material. I'm going to just try it. You get a bunch in a pack. If I can find it again, I'll link it. But these are meant for, like, I think they use them for adhering uh, fake nails, press-on nails or something. I don't quite know, but they didn't work well. <laughs> I mean, the material is the same, and they would work okay for using multi-placers, the multi-placing, if, you know, you didn't have anything else. But we're going to just try it. Let me see. I started. There's one I started. Um, where is it? Where is the one I started? Oh, here we go. So I don't think the size matters, especially because they're all going to be used. But because you want them to stay adhered to the tray while you're working on your diamond painting, you're going to just stick one to the back. And then you pull off the other side of the adhesive and yeah sometimes it can be real fun to get that second side off or you could use double-sided tape you know um i'm not going to be using this pan for anything other than this so it doesn't really matter if i get tape on there i could even put you know, Velcro if I wanted to. I have Velcro I got from the Dollar Tree. Put a strip of Velcro down the middle and put the other side of the Velcro on the back of these and you just stick it there and it's gonna stay in place just like everything else. And then when you're done, you just pull it back off and then you can keep, um, where to keep these afterwards is up to you. I mean, I was thinking to just use like an empty, well, even, even using this paper here to re-adhere them, you know, that might be okay. They don't stick too well to it, but I don't know if they'll stick too well to anything even after, no, they'll still stick to that really well, but they don't stick to this very well. So that's done. Um, they're different things, you know, you can figure anything plastic or metal basically to store them because you're going to have a lot, or you can just take off your sticky piece, stick them in a bag, uh, file them somehow, put them in baggies, you know, put 100 through 300 in this bag and so on and so forth. So you can get to them easier next time or whatever. But if you want to keep that, the adhesion on there, so that you're not just tossing it every time you have a new diamond painting. Um, you know, maybe you just keep the paint, the piece of thing that you used and put it back on. I don't know if you want to hold on to it that long, but uh, that works too. And then put them in the baggie. So now on to how I'm going to do it because of the fact that I don't just go by the uh, DMC number. I also go by the shape of the symbol. So let's just say 301 is A. I'm going to do it one of two ways. I'm either going to use, let's see, I don't know which one's going to work. I'm going to use an Expo marker, um, dry erase, and I'll just put it now. See, that doesn't work too well. Nope, that's not going to work at least not this one and it might just be because it's uh pretty blunt and there's not really much left to the tip it's really big i prefer using sharpies and it's fine because i know how to get sharpie off you just use an alcohol swab which we have a ton of because you know i have a, a pen store for making drill pens and sometimes we have ink mishaps. So I bought a bunch of uh, really cheap. I can list those below as well. I bought a box of these on Amazon, uh, just the little alcohol prep wipes. So I'm going to use my Sharpie. 
I'm going to put my symbol on here and I'm now ready to use that symbol for this diamond painting. And when I'm done, see, I don't know if it's dry all the way. I want to make sure it dries so that I can, let's see, it's not wiping off, right? Let's see, baby wipe, baby wipe's not quite wet anymore. Uh, that'll take some scrubbing, but it does come off if you don't have alcohol wipes. Um, but if you have alcohol wipes, eh, it makes a quick work of it. It makes it come off really easily. And so that's, <laughs> I'm going to use this. I'm going to take it out into the living room and I'm going to, um, make some stickers up real quick for the diamond painting I'm working on and put my symbols on and I'm going to give it a shot. So I will let you guys know probably in my live, my next live after I've tried this, after I've actually posted it to let you know how it worked. So there you go. I hope you like this video. I hope it helps somebody because I know some of those, um, trays that um, other shops sell on Etsy and Facebook. They're just not for everybody and a lot of people can't afford them. They go from anywhere from 15 to uh, $25. And this is, you know, you get your free uh, trays from your kits, $2 for the magnets, a dollar for this. And, you know, probably only cost $1 to make up enough of these for one diamond painting. And and then maybe a dollar for some double-sided tape. You can get that at Dollar Tree as well. And it's actually, the stuff that I use from Dollar Tree, it's actually Scotch brand. So that's a good brand to tape. And it, there's quite a bit in there. So you could buy a dollar for this, a dollar for that, a dollar for the laminating sheets. And you don't even have to do it with the laminating sheets. That's just a, a way to make it permanent. Uh, you, you don't even need the stickers. I mean, you can take little pieces of paper or use your, you know, little labels that come in some of these kits, you know, use your little labels and write your numbers on there and put it in the laminator. It, you know, there's so many just different ideas, different ways, different, you know, you could do this to make it work for your situation. And, you know, you don't have to use these things. I'm just doing it because that's what I have. And I finally found a use for them. But, yeah, it's, so that's one, two, three, uh, four. So, really, four dollars, five with the tape. So, five bucks and you've got a reusable thing that holds, you know, organizer that holds 12 or more because there's 18 magnets that come in um, this pack, which I can put that down now. So five bucks and you've got yourself a nice organizing tray for your diamond painting. And it's, you know, this tray, it's <laughs> kind of wobbly. So I think it's because somebody bumped into it but when you're shopping for your tray at Dollar Tree make sure it doesn't do this because that I could see causing drills to pop around you want to make sure it's as flat as possible and I mean when I when I set it down it's flat but gosh yeah see it's flat when I set it down it's not popping all over the place and that's what's important is if you set it down that it's flat so let me know what you guys think. If you decide to do something like this, let me know what you did to make it a little different or if you did it the same way, show me pictures in the Facebook group. Let me know what it, how it turned out. Um, if you've done something like this or you think it would work better with a certain, a different something that I didn't do here, let me know down below. Um, Hit that like button if you like this video. I do enjoy trying to help everybody in the best way possible to make their diamond painting experience as enjoyable as possible. So 
thank you very much for watching. Have fun diamond painting. Have fun creating your own tray. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.